Hello everyone, I'm FatNobiX, and I was t asked to do a tutorial on fog, so the one I'm going to teach you about today is exponential height fog. So, with exponential height fog, all you got to do is go over to visual effects or type it in the top and you can drop in your fog. Alright, so one of the big things is the density, you can change the density with a little bar right here, make it look like it's farther away or really thick for like... I don't know, when you're dead and you're a ghost style things. I don't know, it's pretty much whatever you want to use it for. I like to make it go down at least down here for scenes that I'm not doing god rays. See, if you're wanting to do god rays, this is not that good because you have to have the fog a bit more dense because, as you see, it doesn't show up. But uh, we'll get into the god rays here in a minute. So, an interesting thing is that there are two layers. This is the first layer and this is the second layer of fog. As you can see, this one feels like it's a bit closer, whereas this one feels a bit farther away. So it's separated like this to allow you to do a few creative little things. And as well as this is the fog height fall off. The higher this is, the lower the fog will be to the ground. The lower it is, the higher the fog can reach into the sky. So as you can see up there in the background back here, it's actually raising... Ah, that's the wrong, that's the wrong one. <laughs> My bad. It's actually raising the fog up and blocking the sky. So it's, it, depending on what kind of scene you're doing, it's good to keep it uh, pretty high up. Also depending on where your fog's located. Here's an important thing, the fog interscatter in color. This is actually the color of the fog itself. So if you want to change this around, you can get some pretty neat effects. As you can see, it's no longer just pure white. It's got a little bit of a bluish tint to it, but it's mainly white. And it gives it this creepier vibe, but it still looks natural, so let's go with something a bit redder, and it gives it more of a dry or, like, early feel. So, this is all very useful. Here, this is the max opacity. The lower it goes, the more, the more transparent your fog becomes. The higher up, the more opaque it is, like, the more you can see it. And then you've got start distance, which is a to cool tool to use. When you like using high fog. So as you can see, it's really close. But if I start raising the distance away from me, it, go, it gets farther away. This can be used for a different, a few different effects. You can also like blend it together and just get all these different cool things all together. You've got the cutoff distance. This is really important because it's how far the fog actually stretches from your character's location. So this is how, how far out it will render the fog. That way you can keep it from bogging down your machine or your game. So that's all really important. The inter interscattering textures, I haven't messed around with that much yet because I don't have any of the uh, cube map text, uh, stuff set up yet. Now here's one that I really do use a lot. And if you've seen some of my scenes, you've seen that I use these a lot. So let's raise this up. Let's get rid of that layer. Let's go ahead and get this a little bit closer. Let's lower this a bit because it doesn't need to be that crazy thick. See, now we have to have this a little bit higher up because if we turn this on, it really reduces the amount of fog we have. It has another view distance which actually brings the fog closer or farther away. Alright, so we can actually lower the extinction scale and stuff. because So the extinction scale is important with your god rays. Hold on, let's, let's raise the view distance to get the regular fog out of here because the regular fog is actually controlled by the view distance but it doesn't affect the uh, god rays. So let's go ahead and get this in here. Let's find a good in-between thing for the god rays to show up. So another important thing is that if you're trying to do god rays, you can raise this volumetric scattering intensity. That'll increase how powerful the light is connected to the god rays. It'll take a lot of tweaking to get the exact desired effect you would want. So the scattering distribution, let's go ahead and turn this up and get rid of the regular fog so we can just go ahead and show you what that does. So as you can see, the god rays are showing up. The scattering the scattering distribution actually affects how high up it goes and how far down it is. So it's pretty much showing you like how it's distributing the light along the volumetric fog. So it's a good way to control that. And uh, with this too, so I'm gonna bring in the fog close enough to where you can actually see the fog. So if I bring the fog close enough to see the fog, as you can see, the fog is a different color than this is blue let's go ahead and change that to red as you notice the god ray itself is a different color than the fog so that's because the god ray has its own color let's go ahead and undo that if you go down to the god ray and change the albedo you can actually change the god ray color 
So you can actually have two different colors going on. Like this is a really powerful blue, bluish green. And then uh, if we go back down to the fog, the high up to the fog color, we can change that to like a complete opposite purple. As you can see, they're two completely different colors. So you can use this to create like layers in your fog and everything to give these nice different feels. So with some of the stuff, uh, with a lot of the stuff we've learned, we can do scenes that look pretty all right. I and mean, this isn't one of my favorite scenes that I've done, but this is a scene literally just built to teach you all how to do a little bit of work with fogs. Anyway, I hope you all learned a thing or two about fogs, and I hope you all have a good time game diving.